<laughs> okay. Hi, Austin. Hi, how are you? So glad <laughs> to have a time to chat with you. Our topic is, since I know you come coming from a musical family, actually. I just happen to know your dad and mom. Yeah. <laughs> They're very, very, your dad is very well now. Uh, piano teacher in the Seattle area. So you grew up with a, a music around you. And you also, I uh, understand you play saxophone very well. And uh, so this, okay. <laughs> along with those kind of music background, I would like to um, you know, hear you share with us some of, of your music experience when you grew up. Uh, sure, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess like you said, my dad is a piano teacher. Um, but I also have an older sister, two years older, and she started learning piano first. Uh, wow. And I think maybe when I was around five or six years old, I think I wanted to play piano too because I saw her playing. You've uh, uh, sisters. Yeah, so then I guess that's how it started. Um, but I think it became somewhat of a chore. It felt like it was something I wanted to do and then something that I felt like I was forced to do <laughs> or continue to do. Um, but yeah, then like you're saying, I joined band in school and I uh, started playing the saxophone. It was clarinet first and then saxophone. And uh, I feel like, yeah, at some point it changed where then I, I really started to like music again. And felt like, uh, yeah, in college I would come home and it was something that helped relax me. So. Yeah, was that uh, popular in learning music in your school uh, area in, when you grew up? I think um, we actually had a pretty strong band program, uh, especially, yeah, middle school and high school. Um, so there's actually a lot of us that joined the band, but then moving into high school, there's a lot of people who stopped playing um, and then found other interests. So uh, it became less popular, <laughs> I'd say, but I think a lot of my friends still continue to do it and we like doing it, so uh, it kept going. Okay. Yeah, I know this has been a while. You've been in the uh, Columbia Medical School for a while. And uh, back then, you, uh, you know, tried to get into a good college. They're probably 10 years or uh, more ago. Uh, do you still recall what make you decide to apply those top schools? What make you unique you think you could apply those schools? I think um, in middle school, and beginning of high school, um, I, I was taking some of the more advanced classes in middle school and high school. Um, and so I felt like I was working pretty hard and I was like, oh, if I'm working this hard, um, I feel like then I should, I guess in my head, the schools that were out of state or the schools that um, had like, I guess, bigger names were what I should be trying to shoot for with the work that I was putting in. Um, but yeah, honestly, towards senior year, uh, I, I really didn't have as much confidence as I did <laughs> during middle school and the beginning of high school. Uh, mm -hmm. And it kind of just felt like, I actually thought that the plan was that if I didn't get into college that I could travel for a year, maybe like spend a year with my grandparents in China, learn more Chinese, then come back for community college and then transfer hopefully after two years into University of Washington. Really? You had a uh, very, sounds like a you know, very peculiar B plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was, yeah, it, it started becoming actually like, I was, I was really interested in that plan. Um, but thankfully I, I did get into college uh, and I got to University of Washington and Harvard, so uh, <laughs> I ended up getting into college, so that was pretty good too. Uh, what was your ideas? How do you manage your time back then in high school? Um, yeah, <laughs> it was it was surprisingly busy. It was, uh, um, yeah, I guess it kind of ended up just being really day by day, uh, you know, get get the schoolwork done, do um, like tennis practice or track practice after school, and then come home and uh, do homework or try and fit in um, time for practicing saxophone. Um, I think I needed the, the variety. Um, I think, it, especially with music, it helps to get my mind off of, um, 
either school or, or sports or whatnot, just uh, I think sometimes when you're practicing and uh, or just playing music and you're getting into kind of that zone, it helps you kind of get away from a lot of things. And then afterwards, you almost feel like more energetic or rested and that helps you uh, do more homework later or, or, you know, something else. That's a very good point. I, I think you just mentioned it, uh, although you have some other activities, which is uh, take a lot of energies, but the music in, on the other side would be a compensation for your energy, uh, per se. Uh, I'm, I'm sure not only me, but a lot of people would be curious, um, what was the reaction when you heard you were admitted by Harvard? <laughs> I thought it was a fake email. <laughs> I, yeah, I, 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 I can't remember how I tried to double check it, but I, I didn't exactly think it was real. Um, and then after logging into like the portal and everything, then I was like, oh, I guess this is actually real. That brings me another question. I say, you went to Harvard. I don't think you won the lottery. I do think though it is it is it is partially a lottery. I think I think there are a lot of qualified people uh, that don't get in. Um, so I, I think in that sense it, it is somewhat of a lottery. So even if you're qualified, uh, you might not get in. So it's uh, sure. there's some luck there. But I think um, so. We got to read our uh, the notes from admissions officers that saw our applications, mm -hmm. um, and so. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I, I say that because I just remember one of the comments, uh, and maybe this is somewhat of a joke, but uh, one of the comments was like, oh, this guy sounds pretty funny. Oh, <laughs> oh maybe, maybe uh, my, my jokes got him. But I, I, think, uh, um, I, I think through middle school and high school, uh, I ended up just um, doing a lot of different activities. Uh, and Such as? Um, yeah, I guess, like you're saying, I got to do like ASD, so the student government. Um, my, uh, my, my sister really was the one who pushed me to do that. And then she also got me to join track and I played tennis. Um, and I think that kind of started something in middle school where I, I realized there was a lot of things I liked. And, and same in middle school, I got to start playing in jazz band and that was like really cool too. Um, and I guess I just realized that I, I really liked doing all these things. So then I continued them in high school. Uh, and I feel like that idea of just seeming to like different things. So then I kind of thought, well, what else is out there? So I tried more and um, I ended up wrestling for <laughs> two years wow. and swimming for two years too. Um, and I think uh, for, I guess for my personal statement, I ended up writing about joining the swim team. And so at the time, I didn't actually know how to swim. So I think uh, it was me and a friend. Neither of us knew how to swim, but a lot of our friends uh, were on the swim team and some other guys were joining it too. So we all decided to join together. Uh, and kind of through that, you know, it was pretty much, I was like drowning for like every day for uh, like a month and a half, two months. Uh, and it was actually a pretty excruciating experience. But ultimately, you know, with like my friends and the support and kind of, um, being able to, I guess, do that with them, even though it was so difficult. Um, and yeah, I, I guess maybe what they saw is that, um, you know, after you commit yourself to something, even if you maybe have a hard time at first, you know, you ultimately start to enjoy it and you make friends and uh, get the good experiences along the way. So that's really yeah. interesting. Well, what are you uh, up to right now? Uh, oh, yeah, well, so <clears throat> my sister is going to graduate uh, uh, in a few days on Monday. So my parents actually came in to, to visit. Your parents are around you right now? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, they're, yeah, yeah. They're, Can we see <laughs> them? Let them join in. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Here, here is the Columbia and the Yale kids' parents. Look, <laughs> uh, I just read Austin's bio. So you're doing some kind of uh, research right now, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah Tell us know. about uh, what research is about. Uh, yeah, so, um, well, so I'm in medical school right now and I decided to take a research year between my third and fourth year. 
Um, but I'm doing immunology research, um, working in Dr. Megan Sykes' lab. So her lab has done a lot of transplant immunology and does a lot of humanized mouse work. Um, so pretty much what that means is that you, you take a mouse, it's like immunocompromised. Wow. So it's like very, uh, doesn't have an immune system. And then you, um, you do some things to it where you ultimately inject it with human immune cells or wow. human cells that turn into a human immune system. And so we're, we're pretty much doing some work to, um, I guess, really optimize and try and recreate um, better this human immune system in the mouse. So we're putting like, yeah, trying to make an organ called a thymus that makes your T cells uh, from, uh, we're trying to uh, regrow the human thymus in the mouse. Wow, interesting. <laughs> so well, one of the great things about Columbia is that um, they, they're big uh, uh, in the performing arts. And wow. so that was one of the big draws for me. And mm -hmm. uh, in the first year of fall, I actually got to play uh, in the pit for a musical. Wow. Um, so that was super fun. Um, and then one of the great things about the research here actually is that uh, I've gotten to cross register for some classes. And one of them was a jazz ensemble class. Um, cool. And I also took saxophone lessons again in the fall. Um, yeah, so that's very nice, very nice. You know, Columbia uh, music department is really well known. Like a, a Chinese composer Chen Yi, Zhou Long, Tan Dun, all graduate from Columbia. Oh, all really? Got, yes, yeah, yeah. Wow. So enjoy. Yeah, that's a great <laughs> department. You know. All right. Very nice talking to you, Austin. Uh, you know, best wishes for everything in the future. Okay, all right. Bye. bye. See you bye. soon. Bye bye. Okay, bye.